Neil Simon wrote the show. He wrote it about a pair of songwriters whom he calls Vernon Gersh and Sonia Walks, who fall in love, then fall out of, out of love, and then sort of fall back in love again. And the word in the theater is that Vernon Gersh is very like Marvin Hamlish, and Sonia Walsk is not a little like Carol Bayer Sager, his lyricist. And Mr. Hamlish is going to tell us the truth about that particular rumor. What about that? Is that show about you and Carol Sager? Well, I'll tell you, the, the way it all happened was that uh, I was writing with Neil separately on a trying to musicalize your bread lady. He oh, wanted, yeah, for the movies, yeah. Yeah, he wanted to make that a musical, and we were working together, and it wasn't working out too well. But during the time I was with him, I would sometimes come up very exasperated to his house. I'd say, you know, you can't, you'll never believe what happened to me today. And I would tell him something, you know, a little story, a vignette. And then we ended our association on, uh, on trying to do that show. About five months later, he hands me a book. He said, read this, see what you think. And it was there playing our song. It is not at really the story of Marvin Hamish and Carol Berry Sager, but it is definitely based on that situation, meaning it's based on the situation of two people who live together and work together. Yeah. You know, I never sat with Neil and told him what I really thought and what were my innermost thoughts and <laughs> what was going on in my life, but he no doubt used it as a, as a jump-off point for mm -hmm. himself, you know. And I'm glad he did, because I, I said to Carol, it was interesting when, you know, we broke up about, mm, just about, mm, about two years ago, and I said to her, it's kind of interesting, people who break up have the tears, the anguish, the, the good memories, the bad memories, um, all the hardships, Th that's what most people have. I said, we have the tears, the anguish, the good memories, the bad memories, all the hardships, and a Broadway show. And the royalties. And the royalties. <laughs> I said, so, you know, at least the relationship had that, you know, for it going, you know. Yeah. Well, it's a lovely show. Uh, are you as witty as the character of Vernon Gersh? That's one of the things that intrigued me. He sounds more like Neil Simon, Simon Wrights right. than about than Marlon Hamish. I can be I can be funny when I want to. Yes, I, mm. I have I like to have a good time and I like to have fun. I mean, I don't know that I'm as one-linerish, let's say, a, a, as that character. But yes, I can. Mm. I've been, you know, having done a lot of talk shows and going out and performing a lot. I've you know had to develop a certain type of personality because I I've. I've tried very much to show people that a composer does not have to sit in a garret with a wine bottle his whole There are other <laughs> things that one can do. Mm. So, and I also try to enjoy it. I try to have fun. I mean, one of the reasons that I did their playing our song was that I wanted to do a, just a fun show. I had really yeah. wanted to do that. And one of the things that I always kind of regret a little bit on the show was that um, some of the things that I tried to accomplish some people got and some people didn't. I mean, for instance, as you know, music in the theater always sounds like theater music. It has a mm. certain sound. It's almost like music in the theater has to sound a certain way. Mm. And we tried to infuse this musical with some songs, let's say, more of the 80s, stuff that you could mm. conceivably hear if you listen to radio. Because one of the things I think that has changed so much in the business is that in the old days, in the 30s, 40s, and 50s to a degree, songs that came out of shows had a life of their own in terms of, you know, the, the pop charts. I mean, you could listen to the radio and you could hear yeah. some Enchanted mm -hmm. Evening. I mean, it would be there. What has happened is that rock and roll has so taken over radio, it bothers me that you don't ever hear show music anymore on radio. I mean, at least I don't. Maybe, mm. maybe someplace it's playing, but I don't know where it is. Uh, and so we tried to put songs out there that we thought, well, let's see if the theater could even accept this kind of thing. And mm. some people have been open to it and some people haven't been, you know. Mm. But... Uh, it's kind of slowly but surely kind of spoon-feeding the public and saying, listen, this is what's also going on in the rest of the world and mm. stuff, you know.